Welcome to this DCS video tutorial on the AH64D Apache in conjunction with SRS. First, let us look at automatic profile selection so you can use SRS with different aircraft. To use it, you have to select Auto Select Profile for Aircraft to be on, and then you have to create a name, a name profile labeled exactly how it is uh, named in the game. In this case, AH-64D space BLK dot II. This works for any aircraft, but today we're going to focus on the Apache. Next, we're going to cover the controls. Let's select our profile. So the settings we are changing are corresponding to this profile only. And the controls we need are push to talk PTT and special intercom select and push to talk. One is transmitting on the selected radio, the other one is transmitting on the intercom. You do not need any radio 1 through 10. You don't need any of these um, frequency adjusts. You don't need toggle guard or anything else. You only need these two buttons. Unlike, for example, the A10C, which has three radios, you, uh, you, and each radio is selected by a different button on the uh, HOTAS, we only use two buttons for the H64D. To use this, you need to disable Always Allow SOS Hotkeys, and you need to enable Allow In Cockpit DCS Controls Push to Talk. A little tip I found is if you use the same buttons for push to talk on SRS as you do in game for the radio menu, you can put a delay, a push to talk release uh, start delay on it, so you can only hit the switch, uh, the switch very short, and it will toggle the radio menu in this DCS without transmitting over SRS. This is very handy if you use the same controls for that. Everything else is per preference. I prefer to have the radio on one ear and the intercom on the other ear. But that is preference. Now let us switch to DCS. Select the default profile. And here we are. I'm not selecting anything in SRS right now. I'm just going to take this Apache. Start briefing and fly. And we will watch SRS switch profiles automatically. That is, if I were connected. There you go. You might have heard the transmit start um, sound. That is because we are currently on hot mic. Allow me to show you. Over here is the radio panel. And there is the ICS switch or the intercom select switch. Hot mic is hot mic. VOX is in the real Apache voice activation. Voice activation volume is controlled with this um, knob. In SRS, however, this knob only controls the intercom volume, as you can see in the top left corner. And VOX is the same as hot mic. What you need to do, if you don't want to know your co-pilot, is put it to PTT. Then you can only transmit over the intercom by pressing the intercom uh, special intercom 
select and push the torque switch as outlined in SOS controls, like so. Let us turn on the Scourge circuits and get ourselves some power. Close the door so we can uh, do some radio work. Radios require the uh, APU or any generator to be on, otherwise this will be all with zeros and the radius will be off. You can toggle the... Hydraulic uh, failure. Thank you. You can toggle the SOS over the LA with left control, left shift, escape, turn it off, turn it on to this window mode. You can now drag and drop this window around. To this short version, or I prefer this long version. This long version shows you the electric uh, frequencies, the selected volumes, and uh, whenever someone is transmitting, it will also display the name if it is enabled on the SRS server. To control the volumes, you have these five uh, knobs up here. VHF, UHF, FM1, FM2, and HF. Also, this volume is multiplied with the master volume. So if you turn the master volume all the way down, you get nothing. So make sure it's always someplace other than zero. Here is the EUFD. Let me get the IATs out of the way. There we go. On the top, you have your warning scotch advisors, and here your radios. The very left shows you the selected IDM, the integrated data modem. Your integrated data modem is the hollow diamond. The other crew station's data modem is the uh, diamond. If it is the same, they overlap to form the square. IDM is not currently implemented in DCS. The left arrow shows your selected radio. The right arrow shows your copilot um, selected radio. This will always be the case. If you, under, if you are in the front seat, the left arrow will show your radio. If you are in the back seat, the left arrow will show your radio. You can select the radio with the rocker uh, switch with the radio transmit select rocker switch or with the uh, radio uh, push to talk depress in the controls this one with this uh, two-way switch with the depress function on your cyclic this only cycles down if you want to cycle up, you have to go all the way around, or use this one. To change the frequencies, we go to the COM page, then the MAN page. You select whichever one you want to change. Let's say you want UHF on 253. You press that. Your keyboard unit lights up. 253. Enter. And there you go, 253. Another nice button to have is this switch button over here. It switches your primary selected frequency with the standby frequency indicated over here. To do that, you select the radio you want to switch frequencies on, and then you press the swap button. Now 253 is over here, and 305 is over here. If we now wanted to change this frequency, let's say I do, I don't know, 249.5 you type that in it is in here it is in here and now if we want it you can switch to swap these around however we please you can swap these around so you can have um, a bunch of frequencies on standby let's say you are on tower and you want to go to uh, common you just put tower in and when you're, when you're ready to, whenever you're taking off, you just swap it and you're instantly on the common frequency, so you don't have to type as much. And really that is all there is to it. None of, these, none of this works, or is even relevant for DCS. 
All you need to know is the intercom select, a push to talk, and the push to talk switch, how to select the radio, and how to transmit. And that is all.